everybody, Richard here from Dead Rail, and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the Turan Derampa route for Dovetail Games Train Sim World 2. Now I do apologise if there are any German speaking people in the chat. Yeah, I'm probably going to make a complete and utter muck up of all the pronunciation, so I am I am well and truly apologising for that in advance. So we're going to be driving from Dresden to Chemnitz. Commit. Commit. Chemnitz today. <laughs> Pronunciations. So we're going to jump straight into the game, uh, get the train moving, and then I'll tell you what I think about the route. So here we are in Train Sim World 2 on the uh, Turan Derampa route. Drive this IE R, so R I R E 1 service from Dresden, Haptenbahnhofen to Ch Chemnitz, Haptenbahnhofen. So we are a BR612 DB livery, 207.6 tons, four coaches, and 100.7 meters. Currently at Dresden. So we'll set the train up and then we'll have a quick look around the outside. So let's get some lights set today. Key in. We need to push that switch up. I believe that's the hydraulic power. Master key in. And I think we also need to push that one up and release our brakes. So it wants me to unlock the doors, which is this switch here, round to the right, and that button just there. So let's jump out and have a quick look outside. And the first thing that strikes me is just how populated Dresden Station is with all different traction there. That looks very, very good. I'm suitably impressed. Suitably impressed. So this line is modelled as it was in 2012. It is electrified throughout. Um, but in 2012 they were still using these uh, Regio Swinger DMUs services on it. Um, which are tilting trains. So they're fitted with a safety system called GNT. Which I know absolutely nothing about. Uh, and therefore I am keeping it disabled. If you want to know more about the uh, GNT and the PZB safety systems that are fitted uh, on this route, then there's some really good tutorials on YouTube that you can check out for those. So we've been rather quick setting up, we're just waiting for our departure. So while we're waiting for departure, this would be an ideal time for you to hit that like button and also subscribe to Dad Rail for more mainline heritage European model railway and train sim content. Right, lock doors. We are in business. That one goes like that into the middle and we press ZU. It may be the other one. We may have pressed the right one. We're in business. Right, now if we've done this right, we go into forward, and hopefully this train will move. There we go. The way the controller works on this is quite uh, interesting, and I'll go through that in a few minutes' time. We are speeding already. That's a really good start. So we're going to be running the route from um, Dresden down to Chemitz. Again, I am apologising for the pronunciations. Uh, we're stopping at Freiburg, Floha, and that is it. So one of my 
biggest um, bugbears, if you like, with Dovetail Games' previous routes has been the sound stage. And I think they've made a superb job on this route. The flange squeal, the points noises, the rocking, the noise of the trains going past, there's even station announcements. I, I think the sound's just the clickety clack as we go across the points there. I think they've really nailed the sounds on this. Um, you look at how populated the yard is over there. So a lot of other traction, uh, a lot of other traffic on the route as well to keep it interesting. Uh, let's get some power in and get her going. You got the brilliant. Um, I want to say G7. I haven't done my homework. I think that's the G7 locomotive, which is superb. That's a really nice add-on if you haven't got that one. Got a roundhouse over there. So it is worth me saying at this point as well, and it's mandatory that I do tell you, <laughs> actually, that uh, Dovetail Games have given me this particular route free of charge. However, they have absolutely no control over the content I'm creating with it or the opinions I'm giving you. They've not told me what to say, uh, they've not told me what I can't say, so all the opinions uh, are my own and uh, not those of Dovetail Games. section we're coming into I love the the rock work the river the road running next to the railway it's a really really beautiful section of track there's some very steep gradients uh, in both up and downhill directions on this route and a lot of speed limit changes so I'd say the route is quite I'd say laborious but I mean that in the nicest possible way there's enough to keep you busy on this route it's not like I found with Sandpatch uh, you were opening the throttle and then leaving it I think I went like 40 minutes without even touching the controls but with this, you're certainly on the throttle, on the brake, uh, trying to keep it to the speeds. Lots of speed limit changes, lots of gradients. Um, so yeah, a lot to keep you busy on this route. So we'll have a quick look at the... Um, cab in a few minutes time we'll just get around this section of route because it's it's quite a nice section of route so I don't want to be sort of showing you the controls and missing out on the scenery or the tree <laughs> yeah the, the scenery team have done an excellent job on this. the route just feels really really well done really immersive um, there's a lot of life, people on the platforms, other trains, you've got the road traffic there. It just generally feels really well done. I'm not normally a fan of German content. Um, not that I have anything against it, I just don't understand the signalling systems and the safety systems and, su uh, and such. Um, so it's just not really something that, that tends to float my boat. But this route is superb. I really enjoy driving it, I really enjoy the way it looks and it is probably one of my, one of my favourite routes for train sim. And coming from someone that generally doesn't like German stuff or drive German stuff, that's that's. I feel that's that's the saying something. So I always find these kinds of videos quite difficult to do because normally when I'm doing train sim, we're live streaming, so you've got the chat window to feedback on and feedback on it we do normally 
Uh, so if you're in one of our normal live streams, the chat consists of um, general railway chat, a bit of banter going on. Um, one of the recent streams we done had me and my wife, who is known as Num Mum Rail, up doing the Macarena. Yeah, no, I'm being serious. We were dancing. <laughs> There's a sufficient amount of memes been made of that. So if, if you are free, we'd be great to see you in one of our uh, one of our future streams. If you want to find out about the future streams, then uh, we're on Discord. Link in the description below. You can check out social media channels. And I am now on TikTok. So lots of options for you. But the easiest way, of course, is to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. So I think what we're going to do now is we are going to have a uh, quick nosy around the cab now. Uh, sort of look at how the controller works, and I'll tell you what I can about it, but I'm no expert on this locomotive at all. So, quite simply, we've got our headlight controller over there. I don't know what half of this other stuff does, but I'll show you the main things. We've got our reverser, so forward neutral reverse. We've got our power handle, which I'll come back to in a minute. Uh, we've got our door controls, left, right, open, close. And uh, we've got our um, air brake controller, or auto brake controller, should I say. So the power controller on this uh, unit is very interesting. Really, really like the way it works. So, put simply, zero on the power controller is the off position. If you push the power controller forward, you're getting power. If you pull it back, you're getting dynamic brakes. So if we go one step forward, we're in what would be called the run back position. Another step forward, we're in the hold position. What happens next is it's spring loaded on the final position of power. You push it forward, release, and that'll give you one notch of power, as you can see on the heads up display down on the right. Push it forward, release, you get another notch. Push it forward, release, you get another notch. So on and so forth. So if I hold it forward, eventually we get 10 notches of power. It takes a little while to cycle through them. So you can't kind of whack this wide open, it does take a little while to get up there. If you want to come back, you then pull the controller back into the run back position. You can see it coming down. And then you can hold it at any point during that run back cycle. So you push it into the hold position and done. It's exactly the same, we're going to neutral, it's exactly the same in the dynamic brake. You've got your run back position, your hold position and your apply. So you can see the dynamic brake coming on. If I release it, it'll hold. Run back, it runs back. Back into hold and back into neutral. So it's a really interesting controller and one that takes a little bit of getting used to, but I really, really enjoy the way it drives. You will be using a lot of uh, dynamic brake on this route and power. There's a lot of gradient changes, a lot of speed limit changes, and there really is a lot uh, going on to keep you on your toes. So I think what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to turn my uh, microphone and my camera off and I am going to drive the train down to Freiburg and we shall chat again when we get down there. If you want to see this route um, just as a quick overview, I've done a speed drive on it which is in the opposite direction from Chimitz to Dresden and um, the whole route I've done in 15 minutes has been sped up a little bit. See there we go, talking of speeding up, we're speeding. Yeah, so I will leave a link to that video in the description below if you would prefer to see a quick overview with no commentary. So I'm going to turn my camera off and my microphone off guys and I shall speak to you when we get up to Freiburg. Hope you enjoy the journey.
quick note there about the um, power. You can see we're in power notch 8 of 10 and we're struggling to hold speed because of the gradients. That's something you will experience in this route a lot is, is the gradients, um, which makes the route very interesting to drive.
so many speed limit changes on this route that if you're not careful you end up doing exactly what I've done there and uh, busting them very quickly. So we're just coming into Freiburg Sax.
so I'm probably coming in a little bit slow. So what I normally do is get the dynamic brake in, take it down to about 30 on the dynamic brake, then use the air brake to bring it to a full stop. I'm not sure if that's how they would be driven in real life, but that's how I'm driving it. Yeah, coming in way too slow, they're being massively overcautious. We're not actually that late though, we've not lost much time, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we're going to be well short of the mark. That's okay. Right, unlock doors. Don't get much station dwell time. Look at that, we're sort of in and straight back out again. Lock doors, let's go. Yes, yeah, so it'd be really interested to see in the uh, comment section what you guys think of this route. We're off to Floha. I believe this section of the route is a little bit faster um, than the previous section. But don't hold me to that. <laughs> So like I said earlier, you've got a GNT safety system on these trains. You've got various indications on the panel for it here. And if you've got the GNT safety system enabled, all these indications work. And you also get like speed limits coming up on the screen here from what I understand. The GNT safety system is specifically for tilting trains. And it allows them to travel at, I believe it's 30 kilometers higher than the maximum line speed. It might be 30 kilometers or 30% higher than the maximum line speed. Um, and it works alongside the PZB system. I say PZB. I think it's PZB. Like I said, my, my knowledge on um, German signalling, German signalling safety systems is uh, not good. I'd go as far as to say practically non existent. which is not too bad so I'm going to uh, switch my camera off switch my microphone off and let you guys enjoy the room
Yeah, a little bit of overspeed there. You can see what I mean about the, um, the gradients on this. You're sort of really using that dynamic brake to keep the speed down. So, so many speed limit changes. Uh, 90 coming up. And if you're not right on the ball, then it's really easy to miss them. But I, I you know, like I said before, I really enjoy that about the route. I took my dynamic brakes off and she's just run away with me. Need to get a little bit more brake going on there. Come on boy, get out of it. Yes, we just got out to 140 in 2.3 kilometres. We've got to bring it down again to 110. So it's like, oh, it's almost hardly worth accelerating. But if you don't accelerate, oh, excuse me, if you don't accelerate, you won't keep time. <laughs> so you've got to accelerate. Some lovely bridges and riders. Straight back into dynamics now to get down for that 110. One point five percent downhill gradient as well, so hopefully that's gonna slow down in time. It's not looking too likely at the moment. Keeps going now, we've got a 90 coming up. I think once you've learnt the route, you've mastered the speeds and the, the way the, the unit handles, I think this will be a much more enjoyable route to drive. I just feel like it's one of those things, you know, once you've you've mastered it, it's really, really rewarding. Yeah, just need to keep that dynamic brake in, just that downhill gradient, we just need to keep the dynamic brake in to keep the speed off. Uh, 1.2 kilometres from Fluha. So, we'll get some real break in now so we stop at the station. Let's give it some light, some uh, air brake there just to bring it in at the last minute. The air brake takes a long time to release on this, so <laughs> you need to make sure you give it plenty of time to recharge. Four meters out, that's not too bad. We'll take that. Let's get the doors open, unlock left. We are at Fluha.
Lots of people getting on and off our train. Locked doors, we are away. There is no dwell time on this at all. I wonder if that's um, that's a bug when we get to our timetable departure time, we're gone rather than sort of waiting a priest of time for the passengers. Right, we're off to Chimitz. That one goes like that. Let's give it some power. Right, up to 140, back to 100 in 2 kilometers time. So it takes a long time to get up through the power notches and then a long time to come back down through the power notches. So you really do have to work this. If you are here, still here watching this video almost an hour in, then I'm assuming you like it. So please do hit that like button and also consider subscribing to Dab Round for more content. Don't forget as well, you can follow our Discord server. We've got a really good friendly Discord server. Uh, lots of railway staff in there, railway enthusiasts. And if you really, really do like this content, if you want to, you can support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash dadrail. And you see, not paying attention and playing with overlays and things like that, and now we're speeding. It would have been uh, tea and biscuits with me manager. Definitely tea and biscuits at the end of this trip. Up to 140, back to 
you're know, trying to maintain 130, you take that power back too far and you just lose so much speed. Bit of dynamic in for the 100 coming up. Yeah, I'd really like to be able to drive this through without the heads up display. That could be the donut challenge. yard there look really well populated it's got some stock over there beautiful shunting loco we are now coming into commits Please don't hate me for my pronunciation. <laughs> this is where we hit the stops and ruin a perfectly good, good run. Right, red ahead. Actually, to be fair, that's not done bad for time. I thought we'd lost loads and loads of time coming down there because I wasn't exactly tied to the speed limits. But that's not too bad. That's that's pretty reasonable. I mean, by German standards, we're well late. But <laughs> by UK standards, that would be classed as on time. Let's drop the brake pipe pressure a little bit. Takes a long time to recharge that brake pipe. right on that signal. Do not want to spad. Do not want to spad and get end game. Almost perfect on the last one. And here we are at Chemitz. Chemitz. Chemitz or Chemitz? Chemitz, I think. Beautiful modern station. And there we are. What have we got score-wise? Ah, oh, do you know what? I'll take that. That is not bad at all. A few little overspeeds there, but nothing too dramatic. I don't mind that. 
That's good. That's good. I'll take that. I will most definitely take that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's just have a quick look. Um, oh, hello, sir. Yeah, quick look around the cab here. Looks really nice, really good size as well. And going through into the interior of this, it's gorgeous. These cabinets open as well. So you can get to your circuit breakers and everything. That's your battery switch down the bottom there. Through the carriage. Really, really nice interior. Oh, the train's going. What's going to happen? <laughs> There's like a little kindergarten area here, which is really, really cute. I do like that. It's going to go to outside of... Oh! That must be the tilting action. You have reached the end of the represented area. There we go. We knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. So there we go, guys. Do tell me in the comment section below what you think of this route. Be really, really interested to hear your thoughts on it. Personally, I really, really like it. Like I said, I'm not a fan of German stuff, but I really, really do like this route. So if you have enjoyed this video and you are still with me at the end of it, then congratulations. <laughs> it means you must have enjoyed it, so please do hit that like button. And also consider subscribing to DadRail. Uh, you can check out my social media feeds. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash DadRail. Twitter.com forward slash DadRail. I'm on Discord, and there is a... I've pressed the wrong button now. This is what happens when you're not actually editing a video and you're doing everything live. Press the wrong button. <laughs> I'm on Discord, and there is a link for that in the description below. And as of a couple of days ago, I am on TikTok, at DadRailOfficial. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave me a thumbs up and a subscribe. That would be awesome. Hope to see you in a future video or live stream. If you have really enjoyed this video... You can always check out my Patreon. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.